Welcome to Six Minute Hump Day, where we help entrepreneurs get through their busy week with a dash of inspiration, motivation, and a touch of education. We are live. We are live on the Jeff Nozine Podcast. I'm your host, Jeff Lopes. We have another special guest this week, Jason Douse. This is our part four of a four-part series on health and nutrition for our six minute hump days jason say hello to everyone what is up everyone we are going to jason's going to be focusing on movement today for the part four and let's get it going jason all right guys this is a very important topic important subject one that i'm extremely passionate about because this is pretty much my entire background um, to get me here today okay so big big focus on movement what is movement we can think of exercise we can think of yoga we can think of cycling we can think of running it's all of those combined okay so there's not one specific one that's better than anything else okay this is just going to be for you i want you to think about what do you need to do to get moving just to be a little more active our first point is that's that's simply it is we want you to get moving okay so movement is life every single thing in life is moving going right down to looking at particles everything is moving at some certain point okay so think about every cell in your body every single cell in your body is moving okay so we like to think of this as as an analogy of a of a river so if you're just kind of seated seated around you're not moving very much maybe you wake up get to your car drive to your office you're seated all day get up from your chair drive home sit on the couch go to bed okay not much movement is happening there throughout the day if you think of the energy in your cells all those cells there's not much happening there so think of this idea of an analogy of a river versus a swamp a river is flowing constantly has a lot of energy there's a lot of motion it's healthy it's clean it's moving a swamp is very stagnant. The water's not moving, nothing's happening in there, everything's just kind of seated. So think of this analogy versus being active or being not so active. So that's basically what's happening in our body. That energy is just getting stagnant. It's not having a chance to move. We want you to get active, get moving. So it doesn't matter what it is. If you get up and go for a walk at your lunch break, that's huge. That's something we're going to come back to, but it can be riding your bike, it can be going for a jog, it can be going to the gym and exercising, doing some stuff at home, yoga, whatever it is, we just want you to get moving, okay? And just be conscious and be aware of how important that is just to increase your activity a little bit, okay? Just become aware of it. Next thing we want to focus on is just noticing your posture. Obviously, as entrepreneurs, you're spending a lot of time in a seated position. Yeah, we're probably adjusting right now, thinking about where we're at, okay? That's great. That's what we want. Okay, what happens when we're in a seated position? Basically, our hips get really tight, the front of our hips, our hip flexors, our abdominal wall will shut down because that's all tight. We're not really engaging it. We're not really using it. Our shoulders are going to round forward because everything's in front of us right now, and our head's going to drop and, and roll forward. Okay. Not great posture. If you, if you imagine a senior citizen in your head right now, what do they look like? Exactly like that. Okay, so we want to get out of that posture. So... There's a bunch of things you can do for this, but the big ones are focus on your hips, focus on your abdominal wall, focus on your shoulders, okay? So we actually have some products right now that we roll out for that, some simple programs that you can follow, which you can find on our website. But the big thing, like one simple thing you can do to kind of erase that posture, one of the best methods for dealing with um, compression or pain in your back, just movement in general overall, is just simply going for a walk. Take your lunch break, and go for a 10 to 15 minute walk, okay? That's gonna allow you to get some motion back in there. It's gonna help decompress your spine a little bit, open up your hips, get your get your system optimally firing a little bit, okay? So it doesn't have to be complicated. 10, 15 minute walk is gonna help counteract that seated posture that you just had all morning. Next thing we want you to focus on is just having a way to monitor your activity, okay? So this is absolutely a huge area right now that's kind of exploded in the last couple of years in terms of wearable devices. For the first time ever, we actually have insight into what our body is doing, okay? We actually have a, a control gauge. Like if you think of the, the dashboard on your car, a light will go off telling you when something's wrong. But now we have insight through wearables or just anything you can use to track it. We have insight into how active we are, okay? So some good ones are Fitbits, the Whoop Strap, Apple Watches. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be complicated, but these will actually give you insight into how active you are. So one of the big things you will see is kind of your resting heart rate. Looking at this resting heart rate 
every single day will give you insight into your overall health. Okay, so you're going to get a baseline. You will notice things like maybe you have some some drinks, maybe you had a couple of beers or a couple of glasses of wine at dinner. The next morning, your resting heart rate may be elevated. Okay, what do you need to do to bring that back down? Okay, so there's different things that it's going to help you be conscious of in terms of your movement. Obviously, they have step counters in there. They're going to have daily rough caloric estimates into how much calories you're burning. But the biggest thing is that will give you some insight into being able to track your motion, track your activity, and kind of see what you're doing day to day. So maybe through the week, maybe you're at work, maybe you're pretty active. Then on Saturday and Sunday, you're sitting at home, you're, you'll be able to see how much your activity drops and you're going to be aware of it. You're like, oh shit, I should probably go for a walk here. I should just move around a little bit because I'm not as active as, as I've have been. Okay. Again, you don't have to use a wearable. You can simply just write it down, write it down every single day. Monday, I went for a 20 minute walk at lunch. Tuesday, I went for a 30 minute walk with my family or bike ride after dinner, right? You can track those activities and then you can see, okay, it's been three, four days. I've kind of forgot about things. Things have got busy. I need to get back on track here. So it's just you being able to monitor your movement. I'm going to throw one thing at you, Jason, is somebody is starting off as an entrepreneur. A lot of guys Females, males are always on the go. They're, they're business lunches, business dinners, but they're not focusing on fitness because they, 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 it's not prioritizing through their life. How, you said, basically just getting out, moving, starting off. I want a lot of people to understand. I had a guest on the other day um, and he brought something to my attention. He called it a domino effect where a lot of people say, you know what, I'd love to lose 30 pounds. They're looking at the end goal, but they're not looking at how to start it. So one thing with the domino effect, and he explained to us, his name is Terrence McMahon. You look at every single domino. Say you have 100 dominoes on a line, and your end goal is that 100 domino, which is lose 30 pounds. You don't focus on the 100 domino. You focus on the first domino. And the first domino could be like, you know what, I'm going to go for a five-minute walk today. The second domino could be I'm going to drink three glasses of water tomorrow. The fourth domino, I'm going to drink five glasses of water the next day. It's that domino effect where you start doing step by step by step. By the time you realize it, you're halfway already to your goal. And then from there, the dominoes continue to flow and you start becoming fluent in getting to your goal. Does that make sense? 100%. And that's that's really what we've tried to preach with the Epic brand is that this change doesn't have to be complicated, right? Everyone wants to start with that end goal and they get discouraged. So say it is that 30 pound marker, that 30 pound analogy, what happens is they do a couple quick walks or a couple workouts. They jump on the scale the next day, the week from now, and the scale hasn't moved per se. And they get discouraged. Like, oh, I can't do this. I give up. Right. But you've just, you've given up before you've even got that domino effect rolling. You haven't even got any momentum rolling. So that's the kind of thing that takes time. It's like compound interest. Okay. You have to do that action repeatedly each day and then over time you're going to be able to reap the rewards so start simple right it's it's the most beneficial thing is what can you do today to get active to get moving to put yourself in a better position don't worry about where you want to be six months down the road if you can continue that progress each and every day you're going to get there and surpass it by far so it's a good idea to have goals but we just want you to get started right now. Whatever you whatever you can do today, there's a, a quote we use, if all you can do is crawl, start crawling, okay? So it doesn't matter. You don't have to wait until you're able to jog, run, sprint like an Olympian. If that's what you can do right now, do it. Jason, you want to give us a little summary of everything we went through today so we can have everything fresh in our minds? Absolutely. So the summary for our movement focus is one, just get moving today. It doesn't matter what it is. It could be a walk, a jog, a bike ride. Get moving today and do something. The next one, we want you to notice your posture, okay? So notice when you're seated for periods of time. Notice if you're slouching. Notice how much you're just being sedentary. The third one is just monitor your activity, okay? So just jot it down. If you have a wearable, Fitbit, Whoop, Apple Watch, whatever it is, just look at it and become aware of it because that will help motivate you going forward. And again, it can just be as simple as just writing it down. Get moving, notice your posture, and then monitor your activity. That's amazing, insightful information. I want to thank Jason coming on for this four-part series, giving a ton of information, ton of insight towards health and fitness for all our entrepreneurs listening today. Once again, thanks, everybody, for listening. If you guys enjoy this show, tell your friends, tell your family, spread the word, trying to build something special here. Hit the subscribe button. Leave a review. Five stars would be absolutely, absolutely amazing. Until next week, always move forward. And thanks for listening, guys. Peace.